Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Professor Chris Kemp. Thank you for being with us this morning. Uh, first of all, before we start the discussion, can you introduce yourself in a few words? I can. Hi, everybody. It's really good to be speaking with you and with Pascal this morning. Um, I originally started work in this area whilst in the music industry, working as a rock promoter and venues manager. What happens when we found out how dangerous the industry was in the late 1980s and we started to train all of our crew and security in looking after our customers because we wanted to ensure that they were safe in the venue where we worked. After spending a decade in the industry, I left and started work at the university where we put together courses in music management, event management and crowd management, working with some of the biggest companies in the music and events industries to try and make the industry as safe as we possibly could. I worked my way up to Pro Vice Chancellor at the University, where I, along with others from the industry, were able to create the International Centre for Crowd Management and Security Studies. I left the University nearly a decade ago and started my own business, where we had the unique position of creating crowd management and event programmes for clients across the world in 21 countries. We provide leadership programmes for 36 Olympic head coaches and work on consultancy projects events such as the Olympics and Paralympic Games, major railway stations, Grand Prix, international football competitions, and with arenas, stadiums, and festivals across the world. This has allowed us to both observe and be involved in the key changes in the crowded space environment across the world. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, we, we know each other for ages, <laughs> uh, but for those, um, we didn't have the, the story. Can you tell us the story about this uh, certificate in event safety and crowd management? Yes, um, it all started when I was at the university. And what we did was we put together a kind of makeshift certificate. It was, it was the original, which was then kind of pushed out to people in the European Event Safety Group. And that then led on to when I left, we created the program through a much more dynamic needs analysis, where we work with major companies and associations, such as National Arenas Association in the UK, government departments in places like Dubai, Saudi Arabia, Australia. Uh, we consulted festivals, sporting events, indoor activities, theatre and public space delivery companies, as well as those working in production, promotion and media. And this ensured that we struck the correct balance in what we were delivering. We spent years working with Roskilde, the British Grand Prix Wembley Stadium in the O2 Arena, and many other venues, making sure that our programmes are fit for purpose. And I've worked with Pascal for many years, looking at pan-European ideas to cascade, what we have learned for the benefit of others. One of our most important partnerships has been with the Europe and Europe Event Safety Group. Initially, I headed this up with Henrik Nielsen from Roskilde, but I have now stepped back and Pascal has joined Henrik in the driving seat, which ensures the quality and drive needed to make headway in festivals across the continent. The modules on the course have been taught to nearly 6,000 people over the past eight years, and these include 41 different festivals, 38 arenas, 12 major stadia, two Olympic and Paralympic Games, one Tour de France, six Grand Prix, 14 major railway stations, eight theatres and many other clients. Crowded space is complex and every venue or crowded space is different. And thus we have to be agile and adaptable in context and environment so that we can adapt to any situation or venue in which we work. The modules are kept up to date and changed every time we teach them. And this keeps us well ahead of the competition. Chris, um, why would you recommend to uh, follow such courses for even professionals? I think by following the program delivered by issue, you're being provided with currency, innovation, a high level of knowledge from both Pascal and the guests that he brings in. The program combines theory and practice and a hands-on experience, which creates a blend of learning encapsulated in the learning in the round philosophy, which has provided a list of testimonials that show just how much this program is appreciated by those who've already graduated from it. So Chris, um, this certificate is a professional certificate, meaning the target audience is professional at workplace. 
Um, can you tell us a bit more about uh, learning in around uh, philosophy of learning? Yes, this philosophy has been something that's been very close to my heart for many, many years. Um, the key underpinning concept in, to the pedagogy is the learning philosophy, which is unique to the events industry. And we've been working on this learning in the round philosophy for over 25 years. It's changed the way in which we view the educational process. And that was important at the time because it was, it was more of a transactional delivery where you gave somebody education because you got something back. But this really now is, is a transform it's transformational, absolutely transformational. So it combines communication with the development of practical solutions, experience, openness, and engagement. Academics and professional partners collaborate to produce a range of learning opportunities and resources which integrate both theoretical and experiential material. All three actors in the process can shape the content and conditions, the way that we learn really. The traditional distinctions between teacher and learner are transformed. The role of the facilitator is de-emphasized as the participants and industry specialists work through issues and dilemmas. Learning in the round is a profoundly social process where learning is not transactional, it is transformational. So it's all about that link between the facilitator, the expert, and the participant. Perfect. Um, in conclusion, um, you are one of the experts uh, teaching alongside with me this uh, certificate. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you for the next session. We are teaching together the first module, Introduction uh, to uh, Crowded Spaces Management. Uh, see you soon, Chris, and thank you very much. Thank you.